to fishermen. Oh, Nova yeah. Scotia's winter lobster season started yesterday. Fishermen are in the frigid North Atlantic in the winter with the Atlantic Ocean crashing over them, risking their lives to catch the food we need. They should not be worried about paying thousands of dollars of COVID benefits back to the government that they were entitled. Will fishermen paid a share of the profit, not a wage, keep the fishermen's harvest benefit? Yes or no? Here is the Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, it's clearly the member opposite who does not understand the situation. When when this benefit was first constructed, it was an estimate of the reduction in earnings that the payments were based on. The following year, when those numbers were clear... Mr. Speaker, the United States is short of oil. President Biden has said he wants oil production increased. He's called on OPEC to pump more. He's released the petroleum reserve and he's coordinated with other countries, but not Canada, to release their reserves. And last week, the most powerful senator in Washington, Democrat Joe Manchin, called on President Biden to approve Keystone XL. So my question to the government is simple. Did the Prime Minister raise this issue with the President and with the Congressional delegation he met with two weeks ago? The Honourable... The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, certainly we are very seized with a number of the issues that are raised by my Honourable colleague. We are certainly working very hard to support the uh, the endeavors of the industry and of workers and communities across Western Canada and Newfoundland and Labrador. We raise these issues at every uh, possible opportunity. I certainly raised a number of concerns with respect to the, the sector, including Line 5, with my colleague, uh, uh, Jennifer, Secretary Glenn Granholm, when I met with her at COP26. And certainly we will continue to advocate on behalf of Canadian interests. The Honourable Member for Wellington, Holton Hills. Mr. Speaker, under this government, our relationship with Washington has declined. Our closest trading partner and ally needs more oil. How did we get into the ridiculous situation where the president is pleading with OPEC to pump more oil, where the president has ordered 50 million barrels to be released from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and where the president is coordinating with countries like the United Kingdom, Japan, and India to release more oil? How did the government let this happen? Traveling on September 30th was a mistake, and I regret it. But he needs to pay attention to this file. It's time that he ban Huawei. All of our allies have banned Huawei. Yet Canada stands all alone in waffling on the issue. Mr. Speaker, you could see I think I was very kind to the member and I'm very surprised by his words, I would say, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. I am too. But, you know, this is politics, Mr. Speaker. What Canadians at home know, they know that on this side of the House, we take national security very seriously, Me Mr. Too. Speaker. And that will take the... Mismanagement by the government. Of all political stripes... Here we have a program, and <laughs> one member says that all. Mismanagement by the government. Yeah. Milton Friedman once said that if, if, the, if the government took over the Sahara Desert, there would be a shortage of sand. 